Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the R7 260X. I thought it was broken but after giving it another blast with the heat gun it seems to have sprung back into life. The R7 260X was seen by some as a GTX 750 Ti competitor though it was the R7 265 that came out in February of 2014, the same time as the aforementioned Nvidia card that was intended to give that mid-range favour a run for its money. These days the different is likely even more negligible, so what can it do? This R7 260X is a Club 3D Royal Queen edition. Since 2013, Club 3D have only made cards for AMD, so you won't see any NVIDIA GPUs later than the 600 series, I believe, with this company's branding on it. With the interesting fact of the day out of the way then, let's get into a few games. So Cyberpunk 2077 first of all, and this is going to be a job for 720p, or 810p. I used 75% of 1080p in order to hit a 30fps target. We're running at 1440 by 810 here thanks to the game's built-in resolution scaling option. This is a bit like playing on last gen consoles, though the settings here probably are a little lower than, say, the PS4 or Xbox One. Call of Duty Cold War will do a little better with 1632 by 7, sorry, 918 resolution. This is a tad higher than 900p, but visually, you won't notice much of a difference. The reason I tend to use the resolution slider instead of changing the native res is because this offers far more customization, and sometimes you don't need to drop the quality all the way down to the next resolution preset in order to gain the desired frame rate. Here, we may as well have because we're not far off 900p, but the game is playable. Medium settings are best suited to Fortnite, although the frame rate will drop in busier areas. Emptier areas have the opposite effect, of course, but overall this evens out to a respectable average. I remember I was so torn between this, the R7265 and 750Ti many years ago, before eventually settling on the Nvidia option because of the lack of a 6-pin connector. GTA 5 is as old as it is popular, and by that I mean it's pretty old, but it's still pretty popular. I tend to play single player most of the time, going online very occasionally, but yeah, performance isn't going to be significantly different if you're just wandering around causing carnage on your own like I tend to do. High settings with at least 60 FPS is possible, and this is likely a better result than you would have seen in benchmarks five or so years ago, because GTA has seen many updates over the last half decade, which include performance optimizations. Last but not least, it's Red Dead Redemption 2, which again represents the practice you'll need to apply in order to get a smooth frame rate. That is of course messing with resolution scale. 80% of 1080p here, so 1536 by 864. This looks better than 720p and a little blurrier, I guess, than 900p, but it's a good middle ground to stick with. From what I've seen, the R7-260X is a bit cheaper on the used market right now than a 750Ti, and for that you're going to get similar frame rates, but you will need a spare 6-pin connector running from your PSU for most, if not all, models. Also, make sure, and this is very important, that you get a 2GB model, because if you get a 1GB card, then yeah, you're going to experience some serious problems with frame rates and frame times. But there we go, I thought while this card is working, why not give it a go, see what it can do quickly. And uh, yeah, there we go, the R7 260X 2GB version, I can't stress that enough, the 2GB version is the one you want if you are looking for one of these. Again, the 750Ti is a more commonly found option, so that may be worth going for instead. Both of them are pretty close in price, and both of them are still supported by their latest respective drivers. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Let me know what you think of this card in the comments. Maybe you've still got one in your system. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.